The Hallowed Grounds, brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Welcome into this week's episode of The Hallowed Grounds, Ogden Golf and Country Club. We thank them as always. Maddie Gay, Utah fans, remember him. Uh, current Tampa Bay Buck, we'll have some fun. Uh, Maddie, this is how this thing works. We're on the first hole, it's a par five. You beat me, we go to the second hole. If you hit it closest to the pin on the par three, $500 Bushnell range finder is all yours. Now, here's the deal. We won't, we won't let you leave empty-handed. All right. If I happen to beat you on this par five, I'll give you a $100 gift card to you into golf so that you can uh, you can buy whatever you want with it, man. Maybe upgrade the driver. Maybe upgrade the driver. All right. <laughs> uh, guests first, your tee box. We'll play off the blues. All right. Shot. Are we plugged in? Are we serious? You're plugged, man. When you were uh, playing soccer at UVU, is it true that BYU told you they probably weren't going to have you on their team? Uh, it was. I had a little tryout with them. and uh, So you went down and kicked for them? I went down and kicked at a little tryout for them. They had Skyler Southam, who was high school All-American, coming back right. from his mission. So they just said they, they were like, we, We've got four kickers. Uh, we've got an All-American coming back. I think we're good. And I can't blame him, right? I had no film on me for since high school. I mean, I never really kicked. Uh huh. Uh, so I mean, I can't, I can't blame him for the decision. There you go. Nice work. So what's your draft story? How did it all happen? That morning, nephews had a soccer game, so I went to that, came back, was just watching it on TV. No, and then you got picked up pretty early on the third day, right? Yeah. It was. Early fifth, I was saying, if I go undrafted, here's some teams that I think are good spots for me to go that I can win a job and that fit our family good. And I actually mentioned Tampa and the wife and her family, when they first moved from England here, they moved to the States, they moved to Tampa. Oh, wow. And they lived there for two years. And so she was like, I'm looking up places to live in Tampa. Meanwhile, my phone starts ringing. It and it's on Tampa, Florida on and it's right? I'm looking at it and it's an 813, it says Tampa. And I look at the screen, and Tampa's two picks away. And I say, hello? And so everyone's kind of freaking out, like, wait, wait, what's going on, what's going on? And I start speaking very, like, respectful. Like, I wouldn't talk to a buddy. Uh -huh. Like, yes, sir, thank you very much. Of course. And they all start kind of freaking out, like, where, where, where? Like, where's he going? Who is it? And my dad's like, Tampa, it's Tampa. Like, they're two picks away. And then uh, talk to different people on the phone, and I hang up, and, you know, we're going to Tampa. Get up. Nice putt. Oh, sweet bit of Zeus. I can't let you get out of here um, without like some Tom Brady conversation. Oh, Come yeah, on. Yeah, of course. So, so first of all, who's more excited, yourself or your missus? Uh, myself, I think. She doesn't care for it? Not really. She's not very... For Giselle, you know? I mean, so she she wants to have a dinner party with. Me I was gonna say, you know. she wants to get on. to know him. The family's told me, like, hey, let's let's get to know him. Matty, your Super Bowl odds just skyrocketed. I mean, they skyrocketed when Tom came, and then Gronk showed up. And... Yeah, I shouldn't say skyrocketed. The skyrocketed the one they plummeted. You know, you guys are pretty. I don't know what you are. Yeah, I. I... But on you, paper, you... it looks good. Uh, all right, Matty, unfortunately, we tied the first, so um, I can't give you the bush now, but I can give you a $100 gift card to you into golf. I'll take it. Spend it wisely. Best of luck this season. And like I said, I'm not joking. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come you down and watch yeah. you. Yeah, I'm going to actually get KSL Sports to pay for it, and, um, and I'll just consider myself working. I wouldn't think of any other way to do it. Yeah, so just them pay. Um, get yeah. a dinner sorted with uh, Brady, Gronk, and uh, yourself. Anybody else? Uh, whoever you'd like, I guess. Right, and, yeah. um, Try to get Bruce there as well. And I'm not allergic to anything, by the way, so I'll, I'll eat anything. Sounds good. We got some great seafood down there. Perfect. Seafood fan? A big seafood fan. All right, maybe a little surf and turf. Matty Gay, everybody. <laughs> Welcome into this week's pro tip of the week at the Ogden Golf and Country Club. Very fortunate to have Scott Erling with us, the director of golf up there at Weber State, go Wildcats, uh, and as well as the, the head coach of the, of the men's team. So, Scott, we're gonna work on some chipping techniques and uh, drills, I guess, that, that people can go out and use. Yeah, Tom, you know, one thing I see with my players and, and most golfers in general is that a lot of times when they're chipping around the greens, they, they have a hard time deciding what kind of shot they're gonna hit. Is it gonna be high, is it gonna be low, do they want it to run a lot? you know, so on and so forth. So one thing I like to work on with people 
is like, okay, if I gave you the ball, had you put it in your hand and said, okay, I want you to toss this as close to the hole as you can, almost inevitably they pick the right shot just because intuitively their brain tells them how this is gonna work. So, you know, when we're looking at a target like this one right here, you know, I just wanna try to toss this as close to the hole as I can. I kind of pick the right trajectory, my landing spot on the green, and the ball gets close to the hole. This kind of helps you make a decision and takes a lot of the uncertainty out of the shot. Hi, I'm Maddie. I work at Uinta Golf, and I'm one of the shoe experts here. We're gonna kind of go over basically what we have here in our store. We have great options for everybody, every type of golfer, every level of experience. We have high-end shoes that are great for waterproofing. This is probably the biggest decision golfers make when they come in to buy golf shoes, whether they wanna go with more of a spikeless casual shoe or more of a traditional replaceable spike shoe. We definitely have a wide range of options for our customers, and it makes it really helpful because then.